Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, James. Yes. Good evening, everyone. And so sorry for being late. Okay. And I told you the reason already because um, the earlier class finished a little later than usual. So that's it. I'm not wasting your time anymore. In today's lesson, we have a listening section called a college lecture. College, not colleague. The different pronunciation leads to a different word. Normally, when you say colleague, you are talking about a person. See? Colleague. Mm. E and g. But here, ka lich e and j college college is a type of school and in today's lesson we are going to listen to a college lecture that is a lesson taught at a college so uh, i'm not sure uh, whether or um here let me see let me take a look I believe some people have not joined college because there are some teenagers today, but um, it's okay. And I believe there are some people who have left college already, okay? And they did it very long time ago, but it's okay. What we do today is to practice listening, particularly for understanding a college lecture, but also to understand everything in life. So let's go with the warm up. Here it is. We have um, here, classify the garbage. Mm. So what would you do with these? Uh, I, I think we don't have much time for this warm up, warm up activity. So I just ask you one simple question. Do you Classify the garbage at your house? This is a yes, no question. Do you? No. 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 It's, no. Okay. it's okay. So most people in Vietnam don't do that. Okay. Sometimes we can do that at the park because we have different trash. I'm sorry, different bins for different trash. Is it right? But at home, no. Even when you had different bins for different trash, the trash collector put them all in one, one thing. Is it right? Therefore, we do not classify the garbage at our house. But I have a question for you. When the trash is taken to the trash processing plan, what will they be done? They will be classified. So classified is the word I am going to talk about. Can you give me some synonyms for this word? Classified um, or salt? Sorted, that's very good. Sort, okay. Or sometimes sorted, okay. Divide. Sorry? Divide. Divided, yeah, um, yes. Uh, divided, maybe. Um, divide, divide. You know, when you say divide, I have a feeling that you divide them into many parts equally, okay, with no purpose. And all the thing is the same in type. For example, I have some cakes. I divide into two parts. One for my children, one for my neighbors, for example. So the cakes are the same. Yeah. And you just divide it randomly. But when you classify, you need to base on a criteria. You cannot do it randomly. Right, so may I not write the word divide here? It's just classify or sort. Okay. Separate. Sorry? Separate. Uh, separate. 
separate, right. separate. Ah, separate. Okay, separate. We say separate. Separate. It, yes, it is two syllable, even when it looks three syllables. Separate. Mm -hmm. Separate and divide is nearly the same. It means you just physically put them into two parts, okay, or even more parts with uh, very little difference in the type. So, okay, so I will write separate and divide here and maybe split here, okay? They're all the same and classify and sort out another one, okay? Okay, so now what about this one? Let's learn some new vocabulary. What is this? Hmm. Number one, what is this class? Number one, what is this? Target. Target. Uh, target. Yeah, I agree with you. This is target. Target. Target is how American people speak. But as you can see here, it's not tar. It is ta. Target. Target is how British people speak. And later, you will listen to a British lecturer. So, target. Yeah, we get ready with that. What about number two? Can you guess? Where is the paper? Ah, right. Well, I think this picture is a little bit difficult. So, I will give you some clues. Paper, glass, plastic. What are they called in general? Paper, glass, fabric, plastic, wood. What are they called? Material. Ma material. Material. I agree with you. So that is the, the second word. Material. And look at this paper. Paper is a kind of material. It is originally made from wood. So what do we call wood? Can you guess? Virgin. 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 So what letter do we fill here? What letter to fill here? I. 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 That's very good. Virgin material. Oops. Virgin. Virgin. Okay, yeah. Virgin material. Okay, as you can see here, virgin material. Virgin. Virgin. Okay, it means the first, the very first material. Okay. Next, number three. Can you guess this? Drop off. Exactly. Wow. I agree with you. Drop <laughs> off, not drop out. Okay, <laughs> drop off. Drop <laughs> out. What is drop out? Drop out means you stop learning at school. Yes. But you have not finished the curricula. You stop in the middle of the way. And drop out of school are believed to be bad people. They are ineducated. <laughs> they don't finish the school program. So drop out is a bad word. Okay. Uh, when you say, oh, he's a dropout. He's a dropout. Get away from him. He's a dropout. He can kill you. He can say, uh, he can do something bad to you. Stay away from him. He's a dropout. Okay. But no, this is drop off. Drop off is an action of dropping someone off a vehicle like this. Right. Okay, number four. A little difficult for you. I think this is a new word. Um, however, I would challenge you by have you listened to that word and you can write it here. Okay, I can play this one. Please wait for me. Please wait. I can play that word and you guess how it's spelled. 
No, he's in. Incineration. 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 Can you guess? Incineration. Just typing it, please. Can you type it? Type the word down. Incineration. 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 Yeah, that's right. Phuong Linh, Yao Hui, that's right. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Incineration. Incineration. That's right. Incineration. What does it mean? I will tell you later. But can you guess how this word is spelled? This word is a synonym of factory. This word. A synonym right. A plant. Very good. Yeah. When it comes to a plant, you can think about a tree, a flower, something like that, right? But don't forget, a plant can also be a factory, particularly in academic words. Don't forget, today we have a listening section relating to a college lecture. People use academic words. So this is a factory, okay? So anyone knows uh, incineration? What is this used for? Can you look at the look at this and can you tell yeah. me what, what it was? Why? Yeah. You oh. you try to 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 make some things uh, into the other things. Ah, uh -huh. oh yeah, right. That's right. But it's just half the way. I agree. So you mean burn, to burn something. Yes. No. But my question is, burn what? Uh, look, 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 burn look, what? Uh, uh, trash. 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 Oh, trash. They burn oh. trash. Very good. Yeah. Mm. However, this is not only burning trash. They have a purpose. They burn trash to make can you guess? Energy. That's right. Yeah, that is one stone kills two birds. birds. Yeah, one stone kills two birds. One action that has two outcomes. The first one is to, to burn trash. So we have no more trash. And the second one is they use the heat to produce energy. Yes. Uh, energy for us to use. So a factory like this is called an incineration plant. Incineration. Okay. Yeah, incineration plant. Thank you. What about this one, number five? This is an academic word for use. Utilize. Exactly, he might. That's right, utilize. And in British language, you may hear utilize, utilize, okay, mm -hmm. a, a little bit fancy there. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, number six, this is a synonym for company. A firm. A firm, exactly. Firm. I agree with you. This is a firm, firm, not firm, but firm. Why? This is British English. Today, you have two challenges to face. The first challenge is to listen to a, a lecture. A lecture contains a lot of academic words. And the second challenge is you will experience British English. Let's go. Okay. Here we go. Uh, I'd like you to apply what we have learned to fill in the blanks with the given word. One minute for you to do this by yourself. I have turned off your microphones. You can show me the answers in the chat box. One minute to, to go.
please change the given words to make them grammatically correct. I think there's a mistake here this year. This is very nice. Two seven. You know what? I have received quite a lot of answers. But to be honest, no one has given me a completely grammatically correct answers. Yeah, but in terms of meaning, all the answers are correct. <laughs> okay, yeah, right. I can see some correction. Now let's do this together. They hired an engineering something to design a model for their device. A firm, okay, an engineering firm. Yeah, yeah it sounds funny, right? Actually, I would say firm, but British people say firm. Okay, number two, the, yeah, it's quite uh, obvious particularly for those who work in commercial fields. The target of our company is to sell 1,000, I'm sorry, 100,000 products this year. Number three, is there a, yeah, a drop off, a drop off site for us to leave our waste? Yeah, you know what? When it comes to transportation, a drop-off is just a place that the car or the bus or the train to drop you off. But in terms of garbage processing, drop-off, it means where you collect trash of the city. Yeah, Have you ever thought about uh, where uh, the trash will be collected all around the city, okay? Every day, you produce waste, okay? You know that there will be a guy come to take the trash away, but where is he taking the trash to? Yes, of course, the trash truck. But then where will the trash truck go? So there will be a drop-off. Yeah, so... In that term, we will listen to uh, the listening section and you will know more about the drop-off site. Can I ask you a question? Do you know where we drop off the waste in Ho Chi Minh City? Do you know where? Uh, can, can, you, can you tell me in the, in the comments? Do, do you know where? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. Okay, you can turn on your mics to, to give information. Anyone who has information? What is the drop-off site in Ho Chi Minh City? 
where will be the all, all the garbage collected and processed? <laughs> no one has any idea. I have no idea either. Phu Mỹ Hưng, oh, okay. I, I, I didn't know that, Yitri, right? So thank you for giving me such information. Right, now, number four. Sand is one of the... Virgin materials. That's it. But to be honest, I have seen no one who has this question answered completely grammatically correct. One of the... Can you guys... Write the answers again. I am looking forward to a perfect answer. Virgin material is correct, but this is not the complete materials. Answer. Yeah, that's it. Very good. Yes, virgin materials. Yeah. So let me tell you one thing. When you see one of the we expect exactly a plural noun after this. Yeah, 100%. Thank you, class. Number five, the garbage will be processed at... Some people say, some people write incineration plant. It's not enough. Yeah, you can, uh, you can write either un... Yeah, incineration plant. Or, or what else? Factory. Uh, what, no, that's not what I mean. I'm talking about grammar. If you don't like an in, in uh, incineration plant, then... Incineration plants. That's it. Yeah, thank you for giving me the answer that I've been looking for. An incineration plant. Or you can say at incineration plants if you want to talk about it in general. Plants here. Okay, that's it. And of course, last but not least, you can utilize. You utilize. Yes, that's the only left answer. An academic word for use. Okay. So thank you so much. We have finished the preparation of vocabulary. And now we go to the preparation of pronunciation. Okay. Here. Listen and fill. When we read, you may know what the word means. But it's not the same for when you listen because of connected speech. Due to connected speech, we can find challenges in understanding, linking, adding, removing sounds. So now here we go. Number one, listen and write what you hear. Is used for. Is used for. It's a phrase. Is used for. Is used for. Is used for. Mm. Is used for. Is used for. Yeah. Is used for. <laughs> mm. Is used for. All right. Okay. Is used for. I, um, yes. Is used for. So the answer is, is you, is used for. Don't worry, based on your answers, I will tell you why it's not what you think. Is used for. First of all, some people say it's useful. It's useful. Oops. Oh, I just reviewed the second so ignore it. So if it were this, I agree, they sound similar. But there's a little difference here. It's it. This is 
a voice list sound. So you will hear a stop, a very quick stop in the voice here at this place. It's useful. It, it, it's useful. It's useful. It's useful. But here, this is is used for all the voice goes continuously. And it stopped here. It's used for. That's why the answer is not it's useful. Is used for. See? Is used for. The stop voice is here. At this place, not at this place. Can you feel it? Yeah, okay. Now, number two, number two, I just showed you the answer, so we ignore it. Okay, just including. Including. It's quite easy. What about this one? Three. A product for. A product for. A product for. A product for. Okay. Okay. At this time, everyone seems to be correct. That's very good. A product for, so product, not product. Okay, product. So everyone is correct. What about number four? There aren't enough. There aren't enough. This is a sentence. There aren't enough. There aren't enough. There aren't enough. Yes. Oh, nice. Phương Linh and Anbang, that's correct. Chị Uy, now listen again. Chị Minh, correct. Chị Hồng Mai, correct. <laughs> yeah, right. Everyone else, listen again. There aren't enough. <laughs> there aren't enough. There aren't enough. There aren't enough. There aren't enough. Yeah, Chị Thuy, that's right. There aren't enough, not they're all to know. Not uh, there are to know. Not no, but enough. There aren't enough. Okay. The linking. Yes, the linking. Tinuff, tinuff. Right. See, there aren't enough. Here. If it were American English, we might hear people omit the T sound and you just hear there aren't enough. There aren't enough. There aren't knee, 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 knee. There aren't enough. They just omit the T sound too. Okay. There aren't enough. Okay, that's it. It means there are not enough something. Now let's go to question five. Another difficulty is that. 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 Mm. Another difficulty is that. Yeah, okay, so let me repeat. Another difficulty is that this is the first part of a sentence. Another difficulty is that the first difficulty is that we cannot hear and understand the vocabulary. Another difficulty is that we may experience academic words. Another difficulty is that you don't like this topic. There are some difficulties that we may face today. Yeah, that's right. 
Another difficulty is that. Yeah. Okay. And now number six. Reduce emissions. Reduce emissions. Reduce emissions. This is the phrase of verbs. Reduce emissions. Reduce emissions. Okay. Reduce emissions. Let me tell you one thing. So I give you a clue. When you do this, reduce emissions. There will be um less pollution. If you reduce emissions, there will be less or no pollution. Oh yeah. Wow. So let me uh, try once again. Yeah, some people get that. That's very good. We are talking about the environment. If we reduce emissions, there will be little or no pollution. Because, uh, okay, reduce emissions. Reduce emissions yeah that's right reduce emissions reduce emissions why is that ce is pronounced sir okay and it is linked together here emissions emission is the noun of the verb what is the verb of emission class can you let me know in the comment please emit that's right emit and i will prepare for you when we learn a vocabulary we just don't learn one word itself we prepare ourselves with family words and get ourselves ready with everything so here emit the past participle is what is the past participle form of this verb? Oh, oh emitted. Yeah. emitted. That's right. Emitted. And we have double T here for the spelling and the pronunciation may be emitted or emitted. Oh, so strange. Emitted, 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 <laughs> emitted. See, emitted. Carbon dioxide is emitted all over the world. Uh, that makes sense? Okay. So now here, reduce emissions. Last but not least. Compared with. Compared with. This is a linking word. Compared with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Compared with. Okay. Compared with. <laughs> yes. But it's okay. Compared with. Compared with. If you miss the D, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Okay, I think that's enough. <laughs> I'd like to tell you this. Listen and fill in the blind. You will not hear exactly what you see. My advice to you is to listen and understand the story and Decide what to fill in the blank. Now listen. The agreed targets for the UK. Something like that. Okay, now let's start. The agreed targets for the UK mean that by 2008, we must reduce our carbon dioxide emissions by 12.5% compared with 1990. The agreed targets for the UK mean that by 2008, we must reduce our carbon dioxide emissions by 12.5% compared with 1990. The agreed targets for the UK mean that by 2008, we must reduce our carbon dioxide emissions by 12.5% compared with 1990. See? Yes, okay, and I have a feeling that everyone knows what to do. Exactly, that is reduced. Um, 
So what am I trying to show you through this activity that everyone can do? See, that's how we do the listening task. You understand it and decide what to fill. Okay? Because the speaker will not follow the same structure as what you see. So here it is. Ah, uh, here, here, look at this, look at this. You will listen to this. This is extracted from an IELTS listening test, section four. That is a college lecture about the environment. And you will have to write no more than two words and or a number for each answer. I have showed you the first one. And you did it very well. What about number th uh, 32? Okay, so this is reduced. You don't need to listen again because we have done it before. But what about this one? Recycling saves energy and reduces emissions from landfill sites and something like that. So are you sure you understand this sentence? Because if you fail to understand this, you will not hear, you will not understand the listening text. Yeah, <laughs> that's the truth because we need to listen and understand to decide what to fill here. Ah, some people can guess, yeah. So here, recycling. Um, when it comes to pollution and uh, uh, environment science, we have two, like, um, two activities that we can do to protect the environment. First of all, you will Process the, the garbage. Process the garbage. You will turn them into um, uh, energy or turn them into uh, uh, a soil or something like that. You will process them at the plant. And the second activity that every single person can do is recycle. Whatever can be recycled should be recycled. Like plastic bags. As you can see, processing plastic bags cost a lot of money. But if we can re recycle plastic bags, they don't have to process the garbage. That's what I mean by recycling saves energy, saves money, and reduces emissions. Because when they process the plastic bags, as you can see, they burn plastic bags. And oh my God, when they burn plastic bags, they release CO2, NO2, and SO2, and other toxic gases. So recycling reduces emissions from landfill sites. And if you really understand this sentence, can you guess some possible places, some possible answers for this blank, please? Factory. Factories, yeah, what else? Okay, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just inspire you to listen while understanding the sentence. You need to know what you are listen for, listening for. Okay. So now listen for question 32. 
listen for a place that we can reduce emissions from. From factories, from plants, from what? Listen. Now listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 40. Well, my group has been doing a project on how household waste is recycled in Britain. Uh, we were quite shocked to discover that only 9% of people here in the UK make an effort to recycle their household waste. This is a lower figure than in most other European countries and needs to increase dramatically in the next few years if the government is going to meet its recycling targets. The agreed targets for the UK mean that by 2008 we must reduce our carbon dioxide emissions by 12.5% compared with 1990. And recycling can help to achieve that goal in two main ways. The production of recycled glass and paper uses much less energy than producing them from virgin materials. And also, recycling reduces greenhouse gas emissions from landfill sites and incineration plants. As part of our project, we carried out a survey of people in the street. Very good. Yes. Okay. That's very good. Thank you. For those who have sent me your answers, you are correct. For those who have not been able to hear that, we will listen again. Don't worry. And everyone now, listen again and do all the things together. And now you have one minute to look over the questions first. As I told you, if you fail to understand the, the sentences, you will fail to listen. Now, read over. You can ask me any questions if you like. Now, read over. Okay, so do you have any question? Ah, bring bangs. A lot of people ask me the word bring bangs. And as you can see, that word is put between a quotation marks. It has a special meaning. 
So I am not going to explain that. You will understand that in the text. And trust me, that is not a really important keyword for you. Don't worry about that. Okay, so listen and find out what ring banks is. Right, of course, I will instruct you how to do this and do this with you. But now I'd like to challenge you first. I am not answering anything. Listen once and see how you do it. Okay, imagine you were doing a listening uh, test for IELTS. Now let's go. Uh... Now listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 40. Well, my group has been doing a project on how household waste is recycled in Britain. We were quite shocked to discover that only 9% of people here in the UK make an effort to recycle their household waste. This is a lower figure than in most other European countries and needs to increase dramatically in the next few years if the government is going to meet its recycling targets. The agreed targets for the UK mean that by 2008 we must reduce our carbon dioxide emissions by 12.5% compared with 1990. And recycling can help to achieve that goal in two main ways. The production of recycled glass and paper uses much less energy than producing them from virgin materials. And also, recycling reduces greenhouse gas emissions from landfill sites and incineration plants. As part of our project, we carried out a survey of people in the street. And the thing that came up over and over again is that people don't think it's easy enough to recycle their waste. One problem is that there aren't enough drop-off sites. That is, the places where the public are supposed to take their waste. We also discovered that waste that's collected from householders is taken to places called bring banks for sorting and bailing into loads. One problem here is taking out everything that shouldn't have been placed in the recycling containers. People put all sorts of things into bottle banks, like plastic bags and even broken umbrellas. All this has to be removed by hand. Another difficulty is that toughened glass used for cooking doesn't fully melt at the temperature required for other glass, and so that also has to be picked out by hand. Glass is easy to recycle because it can be reused over and over again without becoming weaker. Two million tons of glass is thrown away each year. That is, seven billion bottles and jars. But only 500,000 tons of that is collected and recycled. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I have seen some of your answers. Now let's do this together. Okay. First of all, I have something to um, apologize and confirm with you the example over here. We feel reduce here because there is a D already made for us. However, in the listening for IELTS test, we cannot change the form of the verb we hear. For example, you may hear, we must reduce. We must reduce something, right? We must reduce. The, the word we hear is reduce. 
to fill in this blank, you need to turn them into reduced. Is it right? We cannot do that. As you can see here, that is why I have given you the D already here. So you don't need to change the form of the word. You can feel confident to fill reduce here. However, I didn't tell you in advance. Um, the test doesn't have that D given. Therefore, first of all, we cannot write reduce if they say we must reduce because we cannot change reduce into reduced. Therefore, you need to listen again for another detail to fill in here. So sorry, I, did, I didn't tell you that there was a difference between the example and the test. But that's easy. Here, we need a number. Listen for that number. So that is my instruction for question 31. And for question 32, is there anyone who hasn't got the answer? Um, I can see uh, question 32, uh, chị, uh, chị Hồng Nguyễn, anh Bằng, anh An, Phương Linh, chị Mai, chị Uy, Ngọc Anh, chị Hà Minh, chị Huệ, chị Nương, chị Nương Nếu Lị. Uh, yeah. What about the others? Uh, and Quốc Bảo to hell. Oh, and Quốc Bảo long time no see. Okay. So if you fail to understand this, listen again later. It's the place where we process garbage, where we have to produce emission. Now, number three. People say that one problem is a lack of beep sites for household waste. So this is a kind of site. Listen for that. At the bring banks, household waste is sorted and unsuitable items removed. And number four, uh, 34, glass designed to be utilized for, for something, for a purpose. You need to fill in the purpose here. Cannot be recycled with other types of glass. So imagine there are many types of glasses. You can tell me some examples of glasses. Okay, uh, like this. My glass, my glasses I'm wearing. Or the monitor, the screen of a computer is a kind of glass. A glass that we use to, uh, to, to contain water is a kind of glass. Your door, the material of the door is a kind of glass. So there are many types of glass that we use in our life. That is called glassware. Many types of glassware. However, there is one type of glass which is designed to be used for, for what purpose? Cannot be recycled with the, with the remaining types. Listen to tell me what purpose. And if possible, answer my question, why? Why cannot why cannot they be recycled together? Okay. And lastly, in the UK, beep, tons of glass is recycled each year. So this is a number. Listen one last time, Grass. Now listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 40. Well, my group has been doing a project on how household waste is recycled in Britain. 
we were quite shocked to discover that only 9% of people here in the UK make an effort to recycle their household waste. This is a lower figure than in most other European countries and needs to increase dramatically in the next few years if the government is going to meet its recycling targets. The agreed targets for the UK mean that by 2008 we must reduce our carbon dioxide emissions by 12.5% compared with 1990. And recycling can help to achieve that goal in two main ways. The production of recycled glass and paper uses much less energy than producing them from virgin materials. And also, recycling reduces greenhouse gas emissions from landfill sites and incineration plants. As part of our project, we carried out a survey of people in the street. And the thing that came up over and over again is that people don't think it's easy enough to recycle their waste. One problem is that there aren't enough drop-off sites. That is, the places where the public are supposed to take their waste. We also discovered that waste that's collected from householders is taken to places called bring banks for sorting and bailing into loads. One problem here is taking out everything that shouldn't have been placed in the recycling containers. People put all sorts of things into bottle banks, like plastic bags and even broken umbrellas. All this has to be removed by hand. Another difficulty is that toughened glass used for cooking doesn't fully melt at the temperature required for other glass, and so that also has to be picked out by hand. Glass is easy to recycle because it can be reused over and over again without becoming weaker. Two million tons of glass is thrown away each year. That is, seven billion bottles and jars. But only 500,000 tons of that is collected and recycled. You now have half a minute to check your answer. Hmm, you know what? I have to tell you that... Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I can see some corrections. Nice. When it comes to number, be careful. In the IELTS exam, they usually offer some figures for you to choose which one is the most suitable one. Okay, so now let's do this together. Uh, number 32, I would like you to listen once again very carefully and fill in the blanks with the correct word and the correct form. I don't know, but if you fail to write grammatically correctly, you may lose marks if you were to take the IELTS exam. Listen carefully. In the next few years, I mean that by 2008, we must 1990. And recycling can help to achieve that goal in two main ways. The production of recycled glass and paper uses much less energy than producing them from virgin materials. And also, recycling reduces greenhouse gas emissions from landfill sites and incineration plants. Mm -hmm. Okay. The answer is incineration plants. Uh, that is a uh, plural noun. Okay, here it is. Just two words, and bang. Just two words. Okay, you cannot write more. 
And so number uh, 33. Okay. I can still see some people fail to to find the word for 33. So we listen again to that part. Here. Pop off sites. That is, that people don't think it's easy enough to recycle their way over and over again. Okay, so they do a survey for people about household waste recycle. It means you recycle the garbage at your house. And they do a survey. And here's what people say. First, they say, is that people don't think it's easy enough to recycle their waste. One problem is that there aren't enough drop-off sites. That is, the places where the public are supposed to take their waste. What's the problem? What is the difficulty? Recycle their waste. Came up over and over again is that people don't think it's easy enough to recycle their waste. One problem is that there aren't enough drop-off sites. There aren't enough. What? Easy enough to recycle their waste. One problem is that there aren't enough drop-off sites. Yeah, there aren't enough. Dropout sites. What is dropout sites? That is, the places where the public are supposed to take their waste. The place where the pub public is supposed to take their waste. <laughs> There's no site for them to do that. So, not enough dropout sites. Okay, this is a um, compound adjective, so you need to have a, a hyphen in between. So, and now do you understand the bring bangs? You know that, what what it is? We also discovered that waste that's collected from householders is taken to places called bring banks. For... What is a bring bang? Do you know that now? The places where the public are supposed to take their waste. Now, again, listen and understand what a bring banks is. We also discovered that waste that's collected from householders is taken to places called bring banks. For... So, <laughs> there's no drop off site, so you can collect the garbage at the bring banks. Just like that. Sorting and bailing into loads. One problem here is taking out everything that shouldn't have been placed in the recycling containers. People put all sorts of things into bottle banks, like plastic bags and even broken umbrellas. All this has to be removed by hand. Okay. Another difficulty is... Right. So that is where people collect household waste, just like that. So that is the bring banks. And they just call that place like that. A bank, okay, where you can borrow a place. So there is not enough drop outside, so you have to borrow some places, and that is called the bring banks. Okay, listen again at home to find some problems with them. Okay, and what about number 434? The toughened glass used for cooking doesn't fully melt at the temperature required for other glass, and so that also has to be picked out by hand. So what is that kind of glass? Can you turn on your mics and tell me? And why? cannot be recycled. Yeah. Thank you, Jinu, for that information. Hey. What is that kind of glass? Okay, it's for cooking. Oh, I don't know why I cannot write like this. But can you tell me why glasses for cooking cannot be recycled with other types of glass? Oops, drop off size. So sorry, so sorry. Drop off sides. Yeah, I misspelled it. 
Yeah, that's right, Chi Minh. Uh, that's correct. The reason is they that the temperature required for other glass. Another difficulty is that toughened glass used for cooking doesn't fully melt at the temperature required for other glass. Doesn't fully melt at the temperature required for other glasses. So they cannot smell. Ah, sorry, they cannot melt. All the other types of glass melts, but it doesn't. So it cannot be recycled. They have to be sorted out by hand. Okay, they have to collect the to collect them out, pick them out before they recycle all the other things. And now question 35, a lot of people get this wrong. Listen and so again. that also has to be picked out by hand. Glass is easy to recycle because it can be reused over and over again without becoming weaker. Two million tons of glass is thrown away each year. Two million tons of glass is... What is year? Can you turn on your mic? Is thrown away. Ah, thrown away. Thrown away. So is that the answer for this? Is that two million? Twenty. No. No, 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 right. The question is, how much tons of glass is recycled? Not thrown away. You have been put in a trap. That is seven billion bottles and jars. Seven billions bottles and jars. But it's, it's not tons. We are listening for some kind of tons. But only 500,000 tons of that is collected and recycled. The answer is... Uh, 500 what? 500 is not, is not enough. 500,000. Yeah, that's it. 500,000. That's more than it. Okay. Thank you so much for, for that. So you will listen more at home. We have the remaining half of the test. Okay. So what have you learned today? I learned a new word, drop off. Uh, drop off sites. Drop off site in terms of collecting garbage. Okay. What else? What about the others and anything else? Bring bank and drop off the tape script. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Good night to you. See you next week. And wait, I have something to tell you. Next week we are going to have um a speaking session. Do you remember we had a a, a section on developing ideas? Yes. Yeah, right. And next Tuesday you are going to perform those. I am not going to instruct anymore. And I told my um, my team, we are not going to welcome new students. So everyone is supposed to finish uh, the developing ideas section before. And on that day, I am not instructing anything. You will perform, perform, and perform. And I will give feedback, give feedback, and give feedback. Is that okay? See you next Tuesday. Good night. Goodbye, Good night. everyone. Good night. Wait, 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 wait. I have yes, something. Yes, yes. I have something to tell you. Happy Vietnamese Women's Day. Uh, chị Hồng, chị Huệ, chị Mai, chị Ngọc Anh, chị Minh, chị Thảo, and chị Như, chị Thúy, chị Thủy, Phương Linh, chị Tâm, and chị Uyên. Happy Women's Day. Hey, brothers, you. say something, brothers. brothers Thank you so much. Thank you, Yeah, Thank you. right. Thank brothers, you. do you want to say something to them uh, before we, we say good night to each other? Uh, anh An, Minh Đăng, Anh Bằng, Anh Bảo. Yeah, happy Women's Day. Thank yeah, let's see more. Let's see Thank you. Uh, right. Thank you. Your happiness in life. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. So Thank good night you. to you for Thank now. You. Yeah, bye for now. Yeah. Happy bye. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Thank, Thank you. you. Have fun. Goodbye. Yes. Good night. Good night. Good night.